Prince Diana was an exceptionally outspoken member of the British royal family. Here's how the late princess once shocked the Queen by expressing her true thoughts about the British monarchy and its position in Europe. Diana, Princess of Wales, was not afraid to challenge the status quo. Before her untimely and tragic death, she openly criticized the royal establishment in an explosive BBC Panorama interview in 1995. However, it wasn't just in front of the cameras that she let her views be known. Here's how Diana once questioned the royal family's relevance over dinner with Queen. Royal expert and author Andrew Morton chronicled the shocking moment Diana questioned Queen Elizabeth II in his book Diana, Her True Story. Mr. Morton claims Diana was at Christmas lunch at the Sandringham estate when she dropped a huge bombshell on her in-laws. The author claims Diana asked whether the royal family would be relevant in federal Europe. Her remark was met with stony silence from family members on all sides. Mr. Morton wrote, the Queen, Prince Charles, and the rest of the royal family looked at her as if she were mad and continued with their debate on who shot the last pheasant of the day, a discussion which occupied the rest of the evening. As a friend says, she finds the monarchy claustrophobic and completely outdated with no relevance to today's life and problems. She feels that it is a crumbling institution and believes that the family won't know what has hit them in a few years' time unless it changes too. Dot. The House of Windsor's very survival depends on the belief that it is always relevant. Royal family members are raised to belief in the monarchy and their place in society so to question their own relevance is tantamount to blasphemy. However, that fateful dinner was not the only time Diana reflected on the royal family's relevance. In 1995 she gave a sensational TV interview to the BBC in which she questioned her estranged husband, Prince Charles's suitability to be king. When asked if she believed Charles would ever be king, Princess Diana said, I don't think any of us know the answer to that. And obviously it's a question that's in everybody's head. But who knows, who knows what fate will produce, who knows what circumstances will provoke. She added, there was always conflict on that subject with him when we discussed it, and I understood that conflict, because it's a very demanding role, being Prince of Wales, but it's an equally more demanding role being King. And being Prince of Wales produces more freedom now, and being King would be a little bit more suffocating. And because I know the character I would think that the top job, as I call it, would bring enormous limitations to him, and I don't know whether he could adapt to that. When asked if the title should be passed directly to Prince William, Diana said, well, then you have to see that William's very young at the moment, so do you want a burden like that to be put on his shoulders at such an age? So I can't answer that question. The interview prompted fears among courtiers that William's mother may not be providing him with the kind of guidance he needed as heir to the throne. Diana's private secretary Patrick Jefferson said, it was no secret that towards the end of her life, reactionary elements in the establishment were questioning her desirability as a mentor in the art of kingship.